Hey guys, what's good? It's your favorite girl Tiffany Work at That Nigerian based in Ghana YouTuber. But in today's video, we are currently based in Canada. Yes, yes, yes. I came here to have my baby and um I just thought to myself that instead of showing you guys um just jumping clips and saying, Oh, my process, my hospital process, how much I pay, blah blah blah. I mean I should actually tell you guys the process of how I actually got here. I mean how long it took to get my visa, um the documents I used the route I used, everything, I feel like I should just like be open with you guys and let you guys know because if I can do it, you too can do it. I'm sure you'd love to one day come abroad to probably have your child or relocate or something. Like for those of you that don't know, um, getting a Canadian visa is very, very hard. <laughs> it's very, very hard. It's tough, you know, but like by the grace of God and of course with the right documentation, um, it should not be stressful. So um, if you're Come up on this video because you want to you're looking for how to get a canadian visitors visa or you maybe you're looking to maybe you look at canada one day or you're looking to probably have your child in canada one day then you should stick to my channel not just this video because i'm going to be talking about like later on in other future videos i'm going to be talking about how much i spent to actually have a baby here in canada i mean how much it costs rather to have a baby here so um without further ado sit back relax and let's get into today's video when you want to apply for these visa things make sure you actually have a passport. I'm saying this thing because I heard the funniest story ever. Like a friend of mine was telling me that someone actually started an application for an American visa or something, and this person did not have a passport. So when they ask for your passport number, what are you, what are you supposed to put there? A lot of people don't have passports. Like you want to apply for a visa, please make sure you have a passport and make sure your passport is up to date. Like don't. You, in fact, they won't even give you a, passport, a visa if your passport is going to expire in six months. They will not give you a visa at all. They won't give you. So make sure your passport is up to date and yeah, up to date before you even start your application. Also, make sure you have money. See, when you want to apply for a visa, you should have money. It's important. Don't worry, we'll get there. So yeah, I started my process um, officially in November. Um, that is like during the application process. I had not submitted yet. You see, when you want to apply for a Canadian visa, I'm going to put a link here. You're going to um, click on this website and you're going to be directed to a portal where you'll be asked to create an account, an IRCC. It's called the IRCC portal. Um, it's for the Canadian um, government. This is like the official site for anything immigration, travel, blah, blah, blah. Any visa PR you want to apply for, this is where you'd actually visit. So um, I'm going to put the, the, the link there for you guys to see. So you create your account. When you create your account, you're going to be asked a series of questions like your full name. Guys, when you are writing your full name, make sure it's as it looks. On your travel document that's your passport however your giving name is written whether it's kofi brown ama ama let's be kofi brown then the ama is the last name ama don't go and say brown ama or something don't do that if not by the time you want to go to the um um vfs office that's like the canadian embassy office in ghana to a biometrics they wouldn't it's you cry Cause I'll tell you what happened to me, my story. <laughs> my story is just grace of God, guys. So any which ways, you want to make sure that your information is accurate. See, when you apply for these things, calm down, sit down, relax, and apply. And this this application process, I must say, I did by myself with the help of my auntie. I did not apply, I did not um, hire any agency or whatever agent, nothing. I did it by myself with my auntie because um. She was the one that was she was the one that provided me with an invitation letter. And guys, yeah, before you apply to actually travel to Canada, make sure you have a relative here or somebody that will send you a letter of invitation. It's very, very important. I know some people some people use their friends to their friends send them letters, but I, I think I realized that they actually answer to when it's like a blood related or something like that. They actually really, really answer when it's you it's from like an auntie, a husband, a cousin as to a friend yeah that's what i realized so in which ways you'll be asked a series of questions full name what you do for a living in fact you'll be asked for the person the person that is inviting you you'll be asked for their content information and it's asterisk to read which means it's an important field that you must fill so there are various fields that you'll be asked to fill if i say long process it took me like two three days to finish filling it up then when i finished filling it up that was when i now saw um list of documentations that were needed not documentations were the things that actually delayed me so much 
so i'm just going to tell you the list of documentations that were required to actually um further my visa application so i was asked to um upload a proof of fund i was asked to upload um a letter of employment and um any other important information that we, we, we needed then also my passport uh, my passport my front page of my passport if i had a many only government identification card which i use my ghana card i was asked to upload that as well so guys for my proof of fund my husband was actually acting in line as my sponsor so because my husband was acting as my sponsor i had to um upload our marriage certificate as well and this was when the problem started my husband's bank statements were so much that they could not upload on the site because the site had a limit of 2 mb that's one thing you must know so you have to even compress a lot of things so that was where my issue started from but thank god for the the use of something called my bank statement whereby a short ticket is created for the canadian embassy to see like how much you actually have in your account and also i also uploaded my own bank statement as well because i actually work so i wanted them to know that in as much as you know i have a sponsor i actually have money too and also aside besides my marriage certificate i also uploaded a sponsorship letter which my husband wrote which he stated that okay i will be traveling to canada for so 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 and so duration and he will be sponsoring my trip with the total of xyz because also in the application when you're applying they will ask you how much are you coming to canada with which you have to say how much you're coming to canada with so if it's five thousand dollars ten thousand dollars you put it there and your sponsor must say x y z just like when children also apply for uni here they will ask you your parents and their parents are sponsored their parents also write sponsorship letter that oh for the duration of my child actually schooling here i am going to pay the money x y and z so that was i needed that this is just like you need a whole lot of stuff but it just pertains to how you know like a student now will bring they'll bring their probably their parents best kids or something i don't know to identify that this is my this are this these are my parents this is my child so i used my marriage certificate my husband i uploaded a sponsorship letter my proof of funds my husband's bank statements plus my own bank statements because like i said i wanted to show them that i actually earn money and i have a steady inflow you know these things actually help when they say that oh you have a steady inflow because it just shows them that you're not going there to run away like you have a reason to actually come back and also when you have a spouse it actually shows them that okay you have someone that is back home your husband so you're not literally running away and me i was not running away i knew the purpose i was coming to but like i said i came through the visitors and visa route which i still knew like i said okay i don't think i said this earlier on canada does not have any law against coming to have your child in canada they don't have any law that says it's against the person in fact it's on their it's on their page that says i think I'll, I'll put that up on my screen that says that it is actually allowed you are allowed to actually come and have a child here in canada so yeah me i just did like woo -woo. <laughs> you know going to the visitors right because i mean would you literally say you are pregnant and you want to give birth i mean that one might take a long process so that was what i submitted like i said then also from my my place of employment i got a letter from my hr that actually validated me saying that i'm actually a staff of x y and z and i will be coming from my holidays in canada you understand like i said visitors visa so I, like i said i was not using um i'm coming to give birth i was using the visitors visa route it's it's a like it's, it's it's a good route anyways so yes my my hr validated me and said oh, i was a staff that helped as well and also i also added my letter of employment that was show that oh i am working here so i added a lot of documents you know because there's nothing they might ask you for the, i think they asked me for just like four or five things but see there's nothing as much there's nothing like sorry there's nothing like too much information just bombard them with everything so i made sure everything was perfect so like i said i said it's posted in november but it took a while because of i was trying to compress documents fitting the 2 mb standard that to upload per file it was hard in fact some documents to upload like additional documents i had to like open create a, a word document and add like different pictures inside one to upload like for example where they said upload your identity i put it passport 
uploaded um, um what's it called my ghana card and other government id cards together in one i made it into a pdf and i put it into one i shrunk it to like about one mb it was really difficult my guys i'm like hey this kind of that thing at some point i told my husband that i'm stressed like what's this meaning of all this you know but like i said we knew like the purpose of what we're getting ourselves into so that took me a while so also another thing we did was that we actually bought a flight ticket as well because you want to show them that you're serious you want to show them that okay this is the duration of which i want to travel because they will ask you to on the portal they will ask you what is the length of your travel what month are you looking at coming to canada and you actually have to put that you have to include that as well so i bought a ticket in fact not really i bought a ticket i booked a ticket so we bought so i just added my flight ticket as well i put it there so officially i submitted my documents on the 3rd of january 2022 that was when i submitted and you also have to pay for it it cost about 900 and something cds because when you're done you have to pay for the application it's not free it's not free we're not doing charity over here come on it's not free so we i submitted my documents everything paid for it and everything was processed at exactly 3rd of january now i got an email from the irscc portal and also please email address you use make sure it's an active email address because they're going to communicate with you via email strictly they're not going to call you they're not going to text you you need that email address make sure it's on your phone make, if it's your gmail make sure you have your gmail account on your phone not that you are going to your website your web browser to be opening gmail every day no make sure you have it so that you get your emails like pronto so i got an email instantly i think instantly yes telling me that oh i should come for my biometrics so they sent me a letter and the letter i realized that it included just i had just tiffany e Eweka, the osahon was omitted and that was my fault because when they asked me for my like i said at the beginning that i was going to tell you something funny when they asked me for my first name my giving name i should have actually written tiffany osahon i don't know how that offer sign i skipped me but when i got to the vfs office hmm, they humbled me but the lady there was very nice so she saw my she took my passport and she's like oh sorry 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 we forget the VSF, vfs office sorry when you get the letter to come and submit your biometrics you'll be asked to actually book an appointment so because of i was happy now i booked my appointment for the next day which was 4th of january so on getting there i thought that it will not matter that osama was not there but it mattered because she's like oh the letter you received for submission of um biometrics has to be the same with your um passport what's on your passport so that was particularly that day i felt so sad i was almost crying i was like does this mean my my whole work my money i've paid with canada often happen i'm like oh my god i was already losing faith i was losing, losing hope so she said not to worry she gave me a an email address that i should send a picture of my passport the front page and write a letter to, just write a letter in the in the um, text box telling them x y and z how this was omitted and let them change it and we send you a new letter because it's important that all your travel documents every letter you receive reflects what is in your passport it's very 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 important it's very very important so i'm coming i want to open the RICC um portal everything was coming so I, like i said the um um, a confirmation came in that okay you finished submitting your application and i was asked to bring my um i'm come for my biometrics on the third that time they came on the first but like i said there was an issue with my my whole thing so i sent an email and almost by god's grace the next day after that day i went the next day i woke up i got an email from rcc again telling me that okay they've updated my profile so i should actually come with this new letter and do my biometrics so i went to do my biometrics and that was when the wait started hey god i was waiting god see and when you're applying for this visa don't be telling people because i had friends that discouraged me someone told me that oh i'm waiting for canadian visa since 2019 you that you just applied you think you'll get it ah Someone said waiting time is 250 days. Hey, I remember I fought with one of my friends because she was like really discouraging me. I was like, God, I was now waiting. I was at some point I even lost hope. I told my husband, like, you know what? Actually, it's like this Ghana team, I mean this Canada team will not work. Let's just start buying our hospital things for Ghana. 
let's just start paying our hospital stuff let me just give up on canada because i was like if at all i get my canadian um, my visa i would like to leave in march but i'm like this is not working now because ending of january came i would always go to my portal just refreshing which was silly because if there was a new message they would actually send me an email and tell me okay there's a new message but i was so impatient i was just like you know in fact it became prayer points i was like oh my god oh my god and that was when on a fateful day on the 23rd of february yes you heard me right 23rd of february i received an email <laughs> requesting for my original passport i was like i now clicked on the rcc i went to my portal they said original passport request and they said i'd like to tell you that your application has been approved and to continue you have to provide your international passport i didn't really know what this meant so i sent a screenshot i said sent my auntie and she quickly calls me and she's like screaming on the phone oh my god you got a visa and i'm like I got the visa i'm like they just asked for my passport she's like no once they ask for your visa it means that you've met all the standards the requirements means you're picking everything i'm like jesus maybe i'm gonna retire you wow i'm like wow are you serious you know i never knew i'll actually share this story on my page because i'm like you know but like it was a miracle because less than two months because after all the stories i heard oh ghana processing time 260 days pa you'll not get it i'm like damn i got it and when i haven't got it so after that you still have to book an appointment with vfs so i booked an appointment when i went there i submitted my passport then they said okay it will take like two weeks to come out i was like okay no problem two weeks care the following day or even in the midnight of that very day i got a message saying that oh my passport has been from vfs has been sent to the main canadian embassy i'm like hey the next day after that they said come and pick up your passport i say hey wow i went to vfs office and i went for my passport and they had given me multiple entry like for like the duration of when my passport expires so me say i feel enter waka waka go come waka go come canada to my passport expires i'm like what it was just a miracle guys i was like wow like this literally took me like let's just say a month and 20 days to get this visa and i was like wow this is just amazing so my husband he was so excited you know because we had given up we had given up fully but i mean it happened and um i just want you guys to take a few things um before i end this video you see when you want to apply for these things make sure you have like documentation it's very what i realized is that it's very important because i literally could have just put maybe only my husband's bank statement as per sponsor then maybe I would have just put only my employment letter but i was like no i want my hr to validate me like yes i think that's important and i was like oh so i want them to see that i have like a means of income i've been working here for years so let them know that okay myself i can afford but let them know in fact it's better to have more money than even like oh less money and it's like coming from your fa your parents or or your spouse you know so that was what i did and also, I don't really know what what other things special I did, but what I know is that too much information is, is actually good for them, but they want to see that this person is up to the task. And as I said, to being married, someone even said that to me once, that when you're married and those kind of things are working, it just shows that you're not running away. You're just coming to like, you know, I know that most people want to get these visas to Jackpot and everything. Yeah, Jackpot is the, you know, but still like, so when you want to apply for these things, make sure you have your information. If you're a student, I don't really know how the student application goes, but I think you have to like get the school you want to apply it and the school has to write like a letter that you've got an admission and you paid, something around that. I don't really know how it goes but it was just it's 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 crazy so that was basically it and um yeah so that was just the whole canada vibe you know and here we are today we are in canada 
I've successfully given birth to my baby. Those videos is so like of me. See, my nose has reduced. I'm back to normal. Just my voice is still kind of husky. And my baby has, I've been, I've given birth to my baby. And another episode, I'll be letting you guys know how I um, sought out for a hospital. How much it costs here it's so different these places are different i can't wait to just you guys about it because i don't want to like spoil the vibe but yeah i'll let you guys know how much it actually costs me to have a baby here oh god a lot of messes did not tell me <laughs> but anyway Trace, just as i did you know canada to do me small but it's all good you know and we are here so yeah so that is just basically it if you have any questions i would love to answer you guys um in my comment section as much as I can um like I said I also just want to say this again I know you use help like I don't have any agency I'm just so proud of myself <laughs> God was my helper Sha. and my auntie really helped me so yeah that's it um please subscribe for more content like this I'll bring you back to back Canada content don't worry right now I'm in the process of getting my son's um birth certificate so we're gonna talk about how to get that later on um, I know that stuff, so don't worry. I got you covered. If you need help with any information, don't worry. Mama is on board here, yeah. so let me go upstairs now and sleep small. Cause my babies are asleep. You say when your babies are asleep, you just you sleep. I came here to create content, but I'm happy I created this content. So yeah, do not forget to like, share, please share, and of course subscribe. Cause if you want to really enjoy this um, journey to my birth slash my Canadian coming to give bits here an Indian story then you would want to stick to this channel okay Mwah. bye